Oh my god, Mr. Foreman. Who the fuck is Mr. Foreman? Yes, Mr. Foreman, now do you understand? It's been me all along. I killed the man you hit with your car. Why'd you do it, George? Why? Why not? After the way you kids treated me, you had it coming. What are you talking about? Oh, Ken, you told me you never noticed? <laughs> Come on, take off them hats and mustaches. You look rather silly in them. I can't believe they're light. They lied to me. Now let me tell you guys a little story about what life was like living next to you fucking guys. Around every Thursday at 6 o'clock I'd hang out with my son George because that was the only time during the week that we had together. We would talk, cook, eat dinner, but that all changed once your band started to play. I couldn't even hear myself think. So I decided to cook up a little scheme. A scheme that would exact revenge on you three. I watch you guys ever so diligently. After every practice I'd take notes. It was the traditional drive home that caught my eye. That's when I figured I can make my move. You sick bastard. Oh, calm down, Jake. You still haven't heard what I'd done yet. I knew George was mad at you three, and I knew he would help me my scheme of revenge, so I decided to call him for help. One day when he was at my house in my kitchen eating dinner, I snuck up behind him and bashed him with the head with a hammer. He died instantly. All I had to do then was wait for your car to come by and dump off the body. Well, well. It was a perfect plan. The only unreliable factor was a police pathetic attempt to catch you guys. We'll save Ribadachi's fellas. <gasps> Ta -ta, boys! <laughs> oh man. Well, this looks like the end, guys. Well, at least it wasn't the PCP that killed us. <laughs> I don't think so. I heard the whole thing, and I'm gonna ah! put you. Oh, what a waste! <laughs> Looks like you didn't know I had a bulletproof vest on. I shot you in the leg! Ah! Ah! Run! Wow! Get away from him! Get away from him! He's gonna smash you with him! Get away from him! Get away from him! Get away from him! He's the fucking man! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away from him! Get away! Get away from him! Get away from him! Get away from him! He's the fucking man! Get away! Get away! Get away! Get away! Shit, looks like we're cornered. I don't even think we're gonna be able to get the hell out of here. Dude, we gotta get out of here. I know a way out. But where? Through him. You are not serious, Sunshine. Yeah, Sunshine, that's the last thing we need is for that guy to blow your fucking head off. Sunshine, you're fucking crazy. You're not a Mexican. I'll take care of this. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. What are you doing, boy? Me and you, Izzy. Draw on three. That's the way you want it. Uno. Dos. Three. Did I tell you boys that I can hit a bullseye from a 50-yard range? What an asshole. Ta-ta, ladies. No! I fucking hate white people. <coughs> but I love you. <coughs> to me, you're always a piece of chino. Regardless. Regardless.
This is so sentimental. They'll die! Ah! <laughs> Should we help her? Yeah. You wanna use that thing? No. Yeah. That puts an end to that. Hey! Hey, you. And I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you, not only kids! Milady! Milady! Let's get the fuck out of here. Guys, this is a silly adventure at Moxley, Dad. Right, you are. Chief. I did it. You did shit. What you did was reckless. Luckily my boy officer Hector's taking a perp to the police station right now. <laughs> <laughs>